children around the world go to sleep at Christmas hoping for a visit from Saint Nick, but if they have been naughty throughout the year, they may receive a more sinister visitor. Welcome to On a Darker Note. If you like true crime and the darker side of history, give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Krampus is half man, half goat and visits naughty children on Christmas with the threat of dragging them to hell. Krampus originated in pre-Christian Alpine Austria. Celebrations held in the 6th and 7th century included Krampus, but there are no written records of him until the 16th century. While he originated in pagan celebration, he then became a part of Christian tales where he partnered with Saint Nicholas who would visit good children and Krampus the bad. The 5th of December is known as Krampusnacht, where adults will dress as Krampus to scare children. There is also a Krampus Lauf, which means Krampus Run, a celebration where adult men will dress up as Krampus, drink and run through the streets scaring children. Once postcards were introduced to Germany in the 1890s, depictions of Krampus beating children with sticks and kidnapping them with his satchel became very popular. He is described as having horns, dark hair, fangs and a long tongue. He carries chains with bells and sticks to beat children with before he takes the very worst back to hell with him. His name comes from the German word Krampen, meaning claw, and is the son of hell from Norse mythology. For many years, celebrations of Krampus were not allowed when the Catholic Church banned such celebrations and again in World War II when fascists believed Krampus to be the creation of social democrats. In the 1950s, the government issued a Krampus is an evil man pamphlets as they believed encounters with adults dressed as him may affect children's mental health. But in recent years, Krampus has a resurgence of popularity outside of his European origin. The people enjoy more the old times. Families are bringing back the children, the old tradition, to show the children, hey, this is the way we lived in earlier days. And hey, take this tradition and, and, and take it, give it to your children, and your children give it to the next children. In 2004, Monty Beauchamp created a book with a series of cards and organized an art show around them. Coupled with the popularity of the bar humbug attitude, Krampus has become a popular figure in American pop culture. Many TV shows depict Krampus episodes, and in 2015 a feature film was made. Americans also participate in Krampusnacht and Krampuslauf in many cities. Austria is also taking a commercial route selling chocolates, horns and figurines, although some believe that this is taking away from the edge Krampus is supposed to have. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and don't forget to subscribe.